We recently fitted three sets of three-door wardrobes and I've stitched together a few videos and photos I took to show you the project and how we how we put it together. So there's three different rooms here. It's a house in, in Sheffield, in Utebridge actually, um, a converted cottage. And the way we do wardrobes, we always do it totally bespoke in that we make the doors to a width that fits and the heights that fit. We don't take standard widths and make them uh, fit with big filler panels. Now on this job we handmade the drawers that you've just seen there from Birch Ply. I'll show you a bit more of them later. We also made the doors and all the external cover panels and the like and we spray painted those. They were made from MDF. Uh, this is just us loading in. <coughs> you can see we sheet out quite thoroughly this gives you a feel for the house. The carcasses, which we always like to make as full boxes with back panels, all in 18mm board, they were made, they were cut, edged, and also CNC drilled to our specification by a supplier called Law Chris, which we use in Leeds. And this job was a new departure for us in that it was the first one that we had so fully um, CNC'd uh, from our software SketchUp and we've we've got that now working to position drilling holes and stuff like that so that when we've got um <clears throat> that's the plinth going down there in the, the spare room when we've got a, a lot of shelves in a unit um they just line up like a flat pat piece of furniture when we assemble it what i was showing you here is one of the the drawings i took on the original survey which i did to show the team where things are in relation to each other there were three bedrooms and that's one of the bedroom drawings that's fairly typical of the sort of drawings I'll do on a survey. I then sat down with a customer at the, at the survey meeting and, and drew it all out in 3D. And you'll see some of those 3D drawings. You already have seen them, I think, uh, pinned up. There we go. There's one pinned up on the door. So that's the sort of thing customers get emailed to them free of charge um, to help them decide whether to go ahead. So here we are assembling. Um, you saw earlier the plinths that had gone down. I think if we look in this room, Yes, we've got, that's that's how we do the plinths. That one's got an angle off the corner there. That room, we gave a lot of thought to how to position something there, and we considered we considered corner units, L-shaped units, and just felt like felt that what we did was probably the best option. Often the simplest approach is the best approach. This room here, the, the uh, spare room, <coughs> is uh, particularly bespoke. Although all the units look fairly similar, this is actually shorter and not as wide to fit into a uh, short alcove. Now the doors, this I wish I had more uh, photos of how we made them but we dropped into 22mm MDF with a rail saw to cut out the panels and then fitted 6mm panels um, with some beading at the back to hold it in. It's not the, it's got some issues that method, we keep wondering whether it's the best but it does ensure very stable doors with no cracking to joints and that sort of thing. So we've spray painted them as you saw there. We then um, we then drill them for the hinges in the workshop and I had also drilled for the mounting plates on the carcasses. Draw boxes, now there were th four banks of, no three banks of four drawers, so there are 12 drawers uh, made from birch ply. I really like a draw box to be strong. They were fairly functional, they, they were just internal boxes. But for these ones we used uh, dominoes which we've started using fairly recently um, for secret fixing and uh, I, I wonder if some joiners might look at this and think that they look unfinished without a panel on the front but that's how we did them and it worked all right. What you just saw there uh, was there was an issue with the layout of the drawers. We hadn't got that CNC drilled. We made a jig but we made the jig wrong. We had to alter it. Hinges on the doors, Blum hinges. Uh, Here's, oh, here's a little video I sped up slightly of me uh, <coughs> fitting the handles. Um, this isn't, I don't know why I spent so long on this really. I've just stitched together a few videos and images because to be honest I struggle to find time to do this after work uh, but I like to get the information out there so it's, you know, this is the, the best I can do at the moment time-wise. Just sat in the van actually outside Lidl uh, before heading home. So, um, I hope the voiceover is not too noisy. So there you go, another view of the draw boxes inside there. I meant to say they're fitted on Blum Movento runners. The hinges are Blum with with the integrated soft close. Uh, the 
the melamine, it's a chronospan melamine with uh, I think it's a one millimeter ABS edging. And there's one of the bedrooms all finished. Uh, it was a brilliant white paint, Sayalac Say water-based paint from Movac is what we used for the first time on this project. So I hope that's been of some interest. Do ask me any questions. Um, I always like to hear from people and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.